Blessed day, brothers and sisters in Christ, are you of God or of the world? How do we know if we are of God and not of the world? Let's look at what Apostle John, who wrote in the Scriptures through the Holy Spirit. 3 John verse 11 Beloved, do not imitate what is evil, but what is good. He who does good is of God, but he who does evil has not seen God. If we are of God, we will do good. We will not let bad example or evil influence us. We will do good works to glorify our Father in heaven. If we allow God's words and truth to influence us, we will do what is right. However, if we are of the world, we will love the things of the world and allow them to influence us and draw us away from God. Verse John chapter 2 verse 15 to 17 It says, do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but of the world. And the world is passing away, and the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. Hence, if we are drawn to the world. We are being drawn to the lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. We are of the world and not of God. God wants us to be His children, to overcome the temptations of the world, and to have victory over sin. Three passages from the scriptures. John 13 verse 33 These things I have spoken to you, that in me you have peace, in the world you have tribulation. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Another scripture, first John chapter 4, verse 4. You are of God in the children and have overcome them, because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Finally, first John chapter 5, verse 4 to 5. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that he has overcome the world, our faith. Who is he who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? We thank God through His Son Jesus, we are overcomers. We have victory over sin and destruction. For Jesus has overcome the world, even death, and He has given His Holy Spirit to live in us and to guide us. Therefore, since the grace of God is upon us, let's treasure His grace, mercy, and love upon us. Let us always do what is good to glorify God, to be overcomers and to have victory over sin in Christ Jesus our Lord. Focus on Jesus. Place our thoughts on Him. God loves you. He is with you. He lives in you. Praise the Lord.